That South African flute. Listen. That South African flute, that is. It's nothing. No, listen, I'm telling you. That South African flute, that is coming all the way from Africa, that is. There's a bloke in a hut playing that. <laughs> Pipes, that is. <laughs> hey, Scotch radio. <laughs> what about that, Mr. Carter? Hey, Scotch radio. Where the bloody hell have you been? Jogging. God, what am I doing here? You're supposed to be doing a job. You know, a job. You're supposed to destroy it, other people's private property and belongings. You don't call this a job, do you? I call it a penance. You know your trouble. What? Oh, God, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> you know your trouble, Carter. You think you're better than us. Well, of course I think I'm better than you. For God's sake, grant me some pride. All right, lad. Maybe you are better. But there's a little word. It's gone out of fashion these days, but there's a little word you might care to ponder. Humility. Yeah, and that means you're a prat. <laughs> humility. I know what humility is, all right. I've been practicing it for the best part of 40 years, and where's it got me? Stuck in here 12 hours a night with you two, and for what? This pittance. Oh, come on, lad. There's no need to take come on. So, come on. Don't spoil the party. What's the matter with you tonight? Here, have a gypsy cream. I don't want a gypsy cream. <laughs> Here, Carter, look. I've just had some photos done at the house. Just had it done out. Don't have a look. Oh. oh, all right, so you suit yourself. I'll show the Sarge. Hey, Sarge. Look. I've had stone cladding. <laughs> I hate stone cladding. Well, it's not your house, is it, Mr. Clever Dick? It's mine. I bought it off the council and I can do what I like with it, thank you. <coughs> I can't see any stone cladding. Well, you won't, would you? That's the outside. I've had it done on the inside. Of <laughs> then, don't you? Yes. It's on the outside of the house, you never see it, do you? <laughs> oh, come on now, he's got a point. He's never had a point! He's not capable of having a point! Oh, that's brilliant, it is. I've knocked all the walls through, so it looks like a great big cave. The full Monty. <laughs> Gonna brick up all the windows next week. Oh, how very, very homes and gardens! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> At least I've got me own property, you know, as opposed to someone living in rented accommodation, you know, as opposed to someone living in some filthy rented bugutch somewhere. Listen, my flat... You what? Your flat? What? It's grown, has it? What, your room decided to expand, did it? <laughs> it's a big room. It's almost a flat. If I put a wall across half of it, it would, it would be a flat. Have it, you it got any fitted units? Yes, yes. I've got a bookcase affair with some house bricks and wooden planks across it. Oh, very homes and garden. Where do you keep the vim? Under the sink! <laughs> I've got to get out of here. There must be something else. Something else I can do. This can't be it. I know why you're in a bad mood. Why's that, then? He's been for another job and he didn't get it. Oh, didn't, didn't he get his equal job then? Eh? Hey? Don't go down do that, please. Don't go down do that. Didn't he get his equal job? Didn't he get his equal... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. What job is this, then? <laughs> the police. Police? You have an interview? Well, I had an interview. I was supposed to have an interview. They sent me to the wrong place, didn't they? I mean, this is the upholders of law and order we're supposed to be talking about. And what do they do? They send me to the wrong place, didn't they? <laughs> I mean, they said hall three, right? They categorically said I should be in hall three at half four. So I get to hall three at quarter past four. Be early, I thought, show winning, I thought. And what do I find in hall three? Do I find the police? No, I do not find the police. What do I find, eh? I find a bunch of ballet dancers rehearsing the clog dance from La Filma Magarde. That's what I bloody find. <laughs> So I'm, I'm sitting there, right, and I'm feeling pressurised, right, because I'm the only one not wearing tights, right? <laughs> so I just managed to borrow this leotard off someone when this uh, 
WPC wanders in and nonchalant, and she looks over to me and she said I should have been in Hall 4 at R3. <laughs> <laughs> and she's very sorry and all that, but the interview panel had gone home and that was it till next year, thank you very much. So that's it then, isn't it? I'm stuck in here with you and the world's worst interior decorator. <laughs> Come on now. It's not the end of the world. I mean... Come to think of it, we're sort of doing the same job as the police, really, upholding law and order and that. It's not the same, is it? We don't have any radios, do we? <laughs> hey! I mean, it's beside that, nothing ever happens, does it? Ain't nothing ever happens. <laughs> hey, that's it, then. That means we're doing our job if nothing happens. Yeah, yeah. Where are you going? I'm going upstairs to fiddle with that computer on the fourth floor. I've been trying to get it to spell my name. <laughs> Gypsy cream. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody there? I'm not late. It's that clock. It's slow. What's this then? What's this then, Sarge? Something's happened. What do you mean? Something's happened. What do you mean? What's that mean? What's that mean? Something's happened. Something's happened. Sarge. 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 Oi! Why don't you bang a drum? What drum? I haven't got a drum. <laughs> Who said I was supposed to bring a drum? I, I didn't know I was supposed to bring a drum. Hey? Keep the noise down. Oh, I see. Sarcasm. You were being sarcastic. <laughs> you didn't mean an actual drum. You were just inferring that I was making a lot of noise and that I might as well be beating or banging a drum. Sorry. How'd you do? DC Martin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you, you constable. Oh, it's marvellous. Oh, it's just what we needed round here. Oh, this is great. I can't tell you what all this means to me. Oi! <laughs> what's, what's all this about, then? <coughs> oh, ignore him. He's just an idiot. <laughs> I want to separate you from your breath. Oh, go bang a drum. <laughs> hey, did you get it? What's all this for, then? Hey? You got clearance, didn't you? Yeah, we, um... We might have. Who said we haven't? What's clearance? Back three to base, over. Angela, they haven't had clearance up here. Drag old George out of the canteen and get him to see to it, will you? He's with you now. Put him on. Hello, George. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you're an inspector, George. What's that got to do with anything? Here. What were you doing round the back of the fire station at four o'clock this morning? <laughs> yeah, I've got my sources. I mean, I've heard about having somebody in the back of a squad car, George, but that was ridiculous. <laughs> George? What do you mean he's gone off in a half? Of course he hasn't. Me and George go back 20 years. We started on the beat together. Yeah, was he really blushing, Angela? <laughs> eh? <laughs> yeah, was he bright red, eh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Just get that clearance, will you? Over. What? Uh, really blushing, was he? Hey. Eh? Don't you think you'd better be getting along? You've been relocated to somewhere else in the building. Good idea, good idea. Too many cooks and all that. Go on, you better running along. Go on. <laughs> what about you? No, he didn't mean me. He's going to need some help, isn't he? I could have been where you are now, you know, if it hadn't been for that ballet lesson. <laughs> Excuse me, but if you think we're moving out of here, you're very much mistaken. Excuse me, but if you think we're moving out of here, you are very much mistaken. Brilliant! <laughs> Go and bang and throw! <laughs> oh, look, it's Sherlock Holmes! How's it going then, Inspector? <laughs> What's happened? He chucked me out, didn't he? <sighs> Said I was getting in his way. All I wanted, right, all I wanted was to find whether my interview was in Hall 3 at half 4 or Hall 4 at half 3. <laughs> and I was just having a look at his camera and I asked him very nicely if he wouldn't mind taking my photograph and my passport and he blew his top. <laughs> What's he doing here, though? Oh, well. It's dead exciting. Yeah. What it is, you see, there's a tower block over the way, and the blokes who guard it at night... What, security blokes? They got you, mean? Yeah, yeah, the security guards, the blokes who guard it at night, they, they're planning to rob the safe. <gasps> yeah. And DC Martin, right, he's keeping them under surveillance, and when they make their move, he's gonna nab them on his own tonight. No, no, no. <laughs> God, you know nothing about police procedure. There's hundreds of them hiding all over the place in buildings and pillar boxes and... You know, stuff like that. Anyway, he's going to watch them for as long as it takes, and when they make their move for that safe, pow! You've got to admire them, haven't you? The police. 
No, not the police, the blokes who are doing the robbery. <laughs> Security guards like us, though, isn't it? Yeah, look, I had a shuffed in his notes, see? And I jotted a few things down, and he got all twisted about that as well. <laughs> right, I've got the descriptions here. Look, th there's three of them. Actually, like us three, eh? Yeah. There's the Sarge, he's about 60. That's <laughs> like you. Yeah. Oh, and there's this bloke called Dell. Dell, that's funny. That's like your name. That's very like Bell, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, who else got Well, there's a bloke called Carver. Carver? Oh, yeah. That's, that's like your name. That's like... Carter! Yeah. 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 It is, isn't it? Hey! Eh? Three yeah. security yeah. guards, the Sarge, <laughs> Del, <laughs> and Carter! <laughs> it's us. <laughs> it's us she's talking about. No, no, no. It can't be us. It can't be us. If it's us, why is he watching another building? Be because they've got that bit wrong, haven't they? Huh? It's like with the names. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Why has been dropping us in there? Who's been telling lies? Robbing the safe! They put you away for that, don't they? You can go around for 20 years for that! Hold it! What? Hold it, Harry! What? what? We're not going to rob a safe, are we? <laughs> so what are we worried about? <laughs> No, I mean, some cretin rings up the bill, gives them our names. <laughs> but it was a bad line, that's why they got the names and the addresses wrong. <laughs> they couldn't even get that bit right, could they? <laughs> some idiot, idiot, rings up the old bill, gives them our names and says we're going to rob a safe. <laughs> I mean, it might have occurred to him that we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, it wouldn't take much, would it, eh? <laughs> to rob that safe? I mean, I've even got a key. How much did they keep in there? I don't know, I've never looked. Must be quite a bit, though, otherwise you wouldn't need to keep it in the safe. No, it stands to reason if you're going to keep the safe, you've got to have a pretty substantial amount of money in it. Yeah. Shall we, then? Shall we what? Rob the safe. <laughs> Go on, might as well. <laughs> It's George there. I'll put him on with you. Hello, George, mate. How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry, Inspector. I didn't mean to insult the Inspector. Here, I'm saluting here, George. Here, George. Here, George. <laughs> What are you talking about, Ange? Of course he hasn't taken offence. Me and George go back 20 years. We did our basic training together. Here, you get him to tell you about the time they found him in the interview room with that WPC. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, uh, we are wondering, you've been here a week. Uh, yeah, so? Well, you know, we were just wondering when this robbery was going to take place, see? Well, I can't tell you that. It's secret. Oh, oh, come on. Look. If the information we've got is correct, it'll be soon, all right? What, well, um, what are they like, you know, the gang? <laughs> well, let's see now. <laughs> uh, there's the Sarge. Well, he's just a passenger, really. Yeah, he's only yeah. going along with the other two because he's too scared to do different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, what about Del? Del? Oh, he's the hard man of the three. You don't want to mess with this boy. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's hard, all right. The trouble is, he's not very bright. Oh, how very true. <laughs> what about Carver, then? Carver? Oh, he's the brains behind it all, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considers yeah. himself an intellectual, yeah, apparently. I, 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 what do you mean, considers? <laughs> as far as we know, he left school at 15 and never passed any exams. Funny background for an intellectual, wouldn't you say? Oh, dear me, they've got his number, all right. He's <laughs> not subnormal. Oh, go and bang a drum. Hey! <laughs> What do you two want? Well, we were just wondering, <laughs> like, when this robbery was going to take place, you know. Well, not that it's any business of ours, OK? Yeah, all right, all right. If it'll make you go away any quicker, it's tomorrow night. Tomorrow, tomorrow night? night? Tomorrow night? That's a bit short notice, isn't it? I mean, does it have to be tomorrow? Oh, oh all right, then. If you two say so, I'll go along with whatever you say. He really had you down pat, that bloke. You'd go along with anything as long as you've got an easy life, wouldn't you? Yeah. 
passenger. All right, then. What time do we rob this safe tomorrow? Well, I didn't know I was supposed to ask him that. Oh. Well, I can't think of everything, can I? Well, you're supposed to be the brains of the outfit, aren't you? Well, you're supposed to be the hard man. Why don't you twist his arm around his neck and make him tell us? All right, Mr. Big Head Passenger, you go and ask him what time it's taking place. Yeah. All right, if, if you two think I should, I'll do whatever you say. Oh, God, God, it's pathetic. Go and ask him if we're meant to be armed. Armed? We've got to know if we're supposed to be carrying guns, aren't we? OK, if you two say so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this is the end of it after all these years. No, 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 I was just thinking that. I mean, after tomorrow, we're not going to see each other again. <laughs> Look, I, I know we've had our ups and downs over the years, but... Yeah. I've always hated you, you know. <laughs> I know, I know, I've always hated you as well. I want to tell you something. I mean, I, I've never told you this before, yeah. and, and it... It's really childish, but, you know, whenever you read about people having accidents in fires and, and terrible road accidents and things like that, yeah. you know, I mean, I know it's really childish, but <laughs> whenever I read anything like that, I always imagine it's you, you know? You, you do shuts me up, sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. You do that as well, do you? Yeah. I'm, uh, you know what I like? When, <clears throat> when I'm out for a drive with the wife and the kids and you see those, uh, those squashed animals in the road, you know, the ones that... Uh, <laughs> Ones that never quite made it, right? Oh, what, the Davy Crockett hats? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. Well, when I, whenever I see one of those, I... I just pretend it's you. <laughs> sometimes... Uh, sometimes I, I reverse the car. And <laughs> drive over them a couple of times, you know, just imagining your face going all flat. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I've done it. I've asked him. Quarter past eleven tomorrow night, that's when we do it. And are we armed? No, no, we're not armed. Well, that is a blessing, because where we're, we're going to find guns this late in the day? <laughs> right, looks right. like we're all set then. Oh, just one more thing. He did say we'd probably be in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Come on out, let's have a look at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sarge? Lovely colour. Yeah? Well, I was worried, you know, because the, the woman in the shop said I, I should have gone for more of a flesh tone or something with a seam, you know. No, 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 I disagree. No, that would have been completely wrong for a situation like this. I mean, it's all the hallmarks of classic simplicity. Has the poor woman never heard of Coco Chanel? <laughs> oh, go on, Captain. Oh, no, Show no, us yours. No, it's, I'm just not in the same league as that. No, come on. Oh, come on. No, just don't laugh then, will you? Just, just give me a chance. <laughs> come on, say if you don't like it. Very nice, yeah? Very nice. Touch a class, that. Come, come on, Sarge, it's your turn. Oh, well. Where's the sergeant? Sarge. What have you done with the hey, sergeant? Come, him. Leave him. come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! It was me! Oh, come here! Come here! Oh, he's beating the soul! Who's got the key? Here, here, hang on a minute, we've forgotten something. We forgot. What about DC Martin's going to be there, isn't he? Oh, no, no, of course he is. There's always something in there. Here, do me a favour. Oh. Crack him over the head with this. Now, 
We're rehearsing our annual play. <laughs> we do it every year, weren't we? Um, where were we? So, this is the young swordsman that all of France is talking about. It's all for one and one for all, the one two. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, would you? It's all off. We've only been double crossed, haven't we? What? What do you mean? Nobody's going to rob that safe. Oh, yeah. Somebody's going to rob the safe, all right, but it's not going to be our three. What? Not the security guards? No, that was just a ruse, wasn't it? A ploy to put us off the scent, to put us off the trail of the real villain. It's someone in the force, isn't it? No, oh, no. I oh, know, I oh, know. There is nothing worse than a bent copper. All Don't... right, so I'm late. Everybody stay exactly where you are and nobody will get hurt. George! Not you! Oh, George! Sure. <laughs> Who's got the key? Um. George! Why are you, George? We started out on the beat together. Yes. Hey, don't I bloody know it? You've talked of nothing else for the past 20 years. It might have escaped your attention, Norman, but things have changed since then. Some of us have got promoted for a start. Some of us have made something of ourselves instead of wallowing around in nostalgia. I am an inspector, Norman. And for your information, that rank requires a little respect. You should show respect, Norman. Yeah, but George, we're friends. I am not your friend. <laughs> Whenever did you get this idea that I was your friend? I felt sorry for you, that's all. That first day on the beat, I felt sorry for you, and ever since you've been trading on it with your stupid bloody stories about the past, but not anymore. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change everything. I'm going to change my whole life with this. <laughs> And something else, Norman. I'm taking Maureen with me. Oh, George, no. Yeah, she can't bloody stand you either. <laughs> oh, Lord, look at you lot. What a bunch of deadbeats, eh? What a bunch of losers. Anybody there? There's nobody, nobody here, here but us chickens. <laughs> <laughs> well, I beat you. I beat you all. <laughs> yeah, they said it couldn't be done. They said a... <laughs> Look, we are not going home until the person that did it owns up. We can stay here for as long as it takes. I don't care, I've got all night. Davis, I knew it would be you. What the bloody hell were you doing? You were aiming at the wrong building. <laughs> now, don't get clever with me, Davis. All right, it was the right building, but you didn't know that. You just wait, over. <laughs> been a funny sort of week, innit? <laughs> Nothing ever happens. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, the night, the night we met. There was magic abroad in the end. And like an echo far away, a nightingale sang. Oh, 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 oh,